Hi everyone, this is a reaction video to Joe Rogan's last podcast where he had Robert Oberst as a guest and they were talking about all kinds of things but then they spent six minutes of the whole thing just talking shit about me. Uh, and because of that I made this little video, uh, I'm going to just set the record straight about some of the bullshit that they were putting out. So let's, you know, without further ado, just dive into it and, and, and see what they were talking about. The Joe Rogan experience. Now, what about food? Like, what, what kind of diet are you guys on? Uh, we all basically eat the exact same thing. Yeah. We all just a, a ton of, of meat and rice, and we do a lot of peppers and stuff like that. What? You eat what? A ton of, of meat and rice, and we do a lot of peppers and stuff. You do what? Peppers? And we do a lot of peppers and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. and stuff like that. No one's vegan? Okay, so what we see here is that Joe is trying to push this into a certain direction. I just wonder, what is it with you and veganism, Joe? Like that. No one's vegan? No, no, no. Not any well, of those top ones in the isn't world. Isn't that one guy, that Patrick, what the fuck's his name? Seriously, Joe, you don't even remember my last name? I was trying so hard to get your attention a few years ago when I called you out on your hunting bullshit. You break my heart, brother. There's a vegan strongman I've heard of. I don't remember his name, but he's not like, uh, he, he's never been the world's strongest man. Yes, you're right. I never won the world's strongest man. Have you ever won the world's strongest man? I was just wondering, so I checked your Wikipedia. It doesn't mention one single competition you won. That's weird, isn't it? So it looks like you haven't even, you know, you, know, you haven't won anything in your whole career. Hmm. And I haven't won World's Strongest Man, that's right. But then I won some other competitions, like, you know, this list here. Uh, German Open overall champion, IFBB in bodybuilding. That was when I was a junior, so that's a few years ago. Two times German lightweight champion in strongman. German heavyweight champion in strongman. European champion in raw powerlifting. One official lightweight world record three official heavyweight world records against zero competitions won. Well, there's there's a documentary they're doing with James Cameron where they're trying to promote him as being... James Cameron is on this vegan kick. Mm -hmm. His wife has a school and they feed the kids all vegan food and Arnold's a part of this too. And they're, Yeah, that guy. Yeah, 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 I know who that is. Yeah. He's he's not one of the strongest men in the world. He's he's a strong man and he's strong and I've and no disrespect I'm not I'm not I'm not saying anything bad about him he's just put that back up again Jamie he's just uh, he's I don't and from what I recall he's never even been invited to World Strongest Man so it's bullshit yeah I mean you can say a lot of things like this guy say say he broke a record in in like uh, some powerlifting competition that was in a guy's backyard right uh -huh. and they call that a world record. And then all of a sudden, now he's a world record strength athlete because his buddy in his backyard said so. So Robert here suggests that I might have set these world records in my backyard. Okay, Robert, let's take a look at some of these world records that I set in my backyard. Shall we? What a nice backyard I have. And look at that camera work. I've got the best camera guys in my backyard. Oh, I've got many, many happy people in my backyard. Look at that, Robert. That's a nice backyard, isn't it? Did you see that pool? Nah, look at this one. Look, I can fit more than 2,000 screaming people in my backyard. Isn't that cool? By the way, this part of my backyard is in Toronto, Canada. So yeah, my backyard is so big, it's intercontinental. And you know what they say? Size matters. My backyard 
is bigger than yours. Damn right. It's bigger than yours to show you, but I have to charge. <laughs> so Robert, I think you clearly lost the backyard game. I definitely got the bigger backyard, but you know, you could have some other big things. You're a big dude. I have no no clue where he's getting his his uh, his credentials it's from. What? Let me enlighten you. All my world records have been sanctioned either by Guinness World Records or by the German section of Strongman Champions League. So, because, you know, Strongman Champions League is where I did all my international competitions against all the big names like Big Z and, uh, uh, and Half Thor and so on, who actually, you know, won international competitions. His credentials he from one meal a day. See, this is ridiculous. One meal a day and vegan. Yeah, Robert, I agree. That's ridiculous. It's just as ridiculous as the fact that Joe is talking about something that I have never done. He's obviously just making things up or he just taking information about other people and just projecting that on me because uh, there is no information about me that I have eaten one meal a day. I never eaten only one meal a day. I actually like to eat and I eat many meals a day. So this is now getting ridiculous because you guys are just making shit up. Vegan professional powerlifter, 2013, 2013 set the deadlift world record for his weight class. Oh, it's okay. only 672 pounds. For, for how much does he weigh though? There's, 672 isn't even big for guys that are like 115 Well, he's only 5'7". Again, you guys are just mixing up stuff. Uh, I don't know who that vegan powerlifter is with that record, but I don't have a, um, a deadlift world record. Um, I my, my PR in the deadlift is a triple with 800 pounds, and that's actually not that far away uh, from, uh, from Robert's numbers. Actually, his official numbers are lower than that, so that makes me stronger in the deadlift than he is. So... I don't know what the fuss is about. Well, he's only 5'7", so he's smaller than me. <laughs> oh. Oh. Joe, yeah, I'm smaller than you. Okay. So he's smaller than me. So they're, they're talking about powerlifting too. So once you get into powerlifting, there's so many little federations and stuff. Like everybody and their mother has world records and just mm -hmm. this and that. And so this so he's, documentary is touting, because that's why I was confused. Like all the strong men that I've seen are giants. Right, right. Like how, how can a 5'7 guy... Well, Joe, let me invoke Mark Twain here when he says... It's not about the size of the dog in the fight. It's about the size of the fight in the dog. Uh well, because the, uh, the James Cameron thing, they're pulling this guy out as if he's some world record power lifter, strong man guy. He probably has for his a weight world class. record. He probably has some type of world record. I, I've seen him because I've posted videos talking about my, my meals and stuff mm -hmm. before. And a lot of people give me that, like, this guy does this and he's vegan. Yeah. But I've... I, I mean, if the biggest pull he's ever pulled is 627, then that, that wouldn't even do like, that would get last place at an amateur heavyweight show yeah. in America. Yeah, right. Only that his biggest pull is actually 800 pounds for a triple. And that is actually more than your best official pull. So what exactly is your point 